boy, oh boy, I am here alone, but we haven't had much mono fire, and this is top table, so Kitty is back on this left hand seat, versus Liam on a tear with his soiree list, uh, obviously making it to, uh, I believe top cut actually in, uh, in our recent store championship with this list, maybe have been tweaked since, but here we go, time has started, once they start shuffling up. Again guys, this will be the fifth and final round. And uh, we've already seen what Kitty can do. And if you've seen our VODs, which you can check out at Next Dimension Hobby, you'll have seen what Liam can do. Although technically his uh, games from the, the store championship aren't up yet, but uh, they're coming, they're coming, I promise. In the meantime, cuts are done. Let's go. And if Taylor ever gets back, feel free to ridicule him in the chat because uh, he's taking too damn long. Well, all the rest of us want to go home. So let's see who takes the dub tonight. Will it be Kitty? Will it be Liam? Tell us who you want us who you want to see win. And again, guys, we are on the road to 500 subs on YouTube. So please give us a share, like, and subscribe there. And just uh, oh. He's, Kitty, Kitty not entirely happy, but then slightly happy, so we shall see. And here we go. It looks like Liam on the play. Where you been? You're started. I didn't realize. Useless. Absolutely I useless. I got to Dan Harbin and Jack about Warhammer, okay? Oh, I don't care. You're not here for Warhammer tonight, but you're for cards. I love both. Yeah, yeah. Warhammer's cool, to be fair. Not like I play anymore. Right. Luckily, I've not missed much. No, luckily not. But I had to, I had to, you know, swear my way through. Next time, I'm gonna, I'll give you my phone number so you can uh, give yeah, me a bollock yeah. and come down. Oh, pun punished is Liam. Goes oh. turn one into bash and hits a sedan. One nil to ki to Kitty and uh, I think and a bunch of middle fingers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going in with the number, yeah. I mean, you gotta, you got to try and get your backups yeah. pretty quick here. Thing is, if you're not hitting backups as far, you find your backups, and Bash is a good way to do that. Yeah, and to be honest, are we going to see maybe Liam just kind of go off and do it? Like, I think we probably have to. You need at least one backup by the end of this turn. Has he got a Madame Dal in hand? No, Doesn't look not like, no. I see an arc. Has he just passed turn here? Yes, he has. Wow, okay. So, Liam, not feeling maybe the best, uh, most confident here. This is the problem with Suari. I, I like the backup package, but it also feels like sometimes it just gets a bit too clunky. But, Mew from uh, Kitty. This is why I play a more toolbox Suari, because I don't care what I pull. <laughs> Is what it is. Now the pull's not getting better from Liam. He pulls no, a gala and a gala. Yeah. Swinging with bash, hitting oh. a culinarian. No ex for Kitty, but I'm not sure how much that hurts him to be honest. I don't think it's hurting him massively, but I also think that it could be worse. Yeah, and I think if you're Liam here, you just get your Shinju, play it straight away using the gala for the CP. Because, there we go, yeah. Because in theory, if you draw on one, another one now, you can just pay it. Suarez is one of those where you kind of want to go two backups almost right away if you can. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Monofire has an answer for the uh, the Madame Adele Suarez combo. But I also know that Liam doesn't play that many Madame Adele in the deck. He's only on two out of the three. So. Uh, it, it I don't know why, it's somehow really winding me up that the bash is right at the edge of the mat on one side and the backup's right at the edge on the other. I just need the extra playroom, <laughs> don't you? For everything that he's going to slam in between. So I've not seen Liam's list. I've not actually looked on a FF decks after he came in top eight for the store celebration. Is he running the new Reagan? No, he is not. No, he's, he's still running sort of like his... Uh, it's kind of pet cards where it's things like uh, the Earthwind uh, Ishtola. You see, that's a card that Liam has loved for ages, and a lot of people around here seems to not like it too much. I love it. 
It's, it's cheap, it has haste, it can be blocked, and it's pretty tough to kill, especially here against Kidia Monofire. It is, but you also got to think that um, it is only haste. Like, Swari, as much as it has a lot of the X's and, and uh, removal, it could always use more. Yeah. That's why a lot of people tend to play, and me included, like the Lightning Gilgamesh, so you have that little bit of extra removal with the haste and potentially two attacks. See, at the moment I'm testing a few things out with Swari, which is what I've done in the past, and sometimes it just works, so I'm trying a Stinian at the moment. Ooh, okay, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Just again, because it is only just kind of like a hasty beat stick, it's not really a, a do, it doesn't really break anything. Red 13, no, uh, Kitty now playing it. Bit of an interesting one. Uh, not sure I've seen this in a while. Uh, may discard one, choose one forward, dealer seven, but no, we're not doing that. And when it enters, you may pay uh, two, dealer seven. Okay. I think it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's a warrior, and that it's yeah. a searchable backup off of that. Um, but it, we've also got the Mog, which also could be pretty big to slow in Liam down here. Uh, but it's, funny how it's yeah. breaking the Mog. Well, again, the Mog will give you the draw, and now Liam cannot search his turn, so... But so what are we seeing in hand? I think that's a Tyro there. Tyvus coming down. Tyvus searching. I mean, there's not much point in searching a ward right now. Yeah, there we go, Therion. Yeah, no. Why not get a bit of a bit of haste because yeah. he's got the characters, and he will get a draw off of each time it attacks as well. So um, this card could be a real game changer here here for Kitty. Oh, he's changed his mind though. He's thinking of maybe going after the uh, the Yitzuki. I think the Firion is still the right choice. I think the Firion's the right choice. Unless he's because he did check his hand. Unless he has the Firion in hand, and he doesn't want to get another one. I'm not quite sure. It's the Albis already down on the field. Unless he's worried about Merald at this point. Yeah, but Merald would still be able to break something though, right? Does Yuzuki stop here, or is it just point damage? Let's. Have a look. So, Yuzuki. If a fire wall would you control would be dealt damage, it becomes zero. If it's water forward, the damage is reduced. So no, it, the Meryl doesn't uh, doesn't get stopped by that. I'm wondering if I'm thinking of that legend one. Is it Celestia, the ice water one? Yes. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. Um, I still th I still think I would have gone after the Firion. I would have gone for Firion. But then again, you're against Soiree, and these decks do tend to play in the high teens, early 20s of... X-Burst, so you don't ever want to run into any X-Burst yep. this early on, because it could be a game changer. I mean, I've seen lists quite easily, even with late 20s, 30s sort of thing, like 28 to 31. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. That's it. Well, Liam now going with a Tyro, what do you search here? Because he's also Searching playing... Well. Yeah, he's also playing a demon there, which we saw on the top. Um, one of the rare ones that you don't really see too often in Swari. Um, I, I run it in my list. I'm, I'm considering taking it out. I think the issue that Swari has at the moment is Reagan has a lot of utility, so you don't really have space to be whacking in three Shinryus. Oof. So... A Leviathan. Yeah, there's yeah. one of those EXs. You... Is there a water forward there? Do you, you want to water? bounce any of this though? Because you bounce the Tavas, you're just getting a search to play another warrior. I mean, you might as well bounce the the Yuzuki because at least it's either needing to be paid for or use the Tavas effect for a turn. Yeah. Um, also, Liam not getting anything back. I would have gotten back both the Vesphere or the uh, the wall just so you have another wall in hand. I would have just got the wall for this sort of CP coverage. Yeah. But he's chosen not to. Um, I mean, we've still got the Tyvus effect for the turn. Draw him for turn as another Vesphere, as far as I'm aware. No, I think he just got that back. Yeah, no, he, oh, he's, 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 yeah, he's chosen the Vesphere back. So Yuzuki off of the uh, off of the Tyvus. It's that time of day. I thought he had just drawn for turn. Yeah. And Jin as well. And Jin a goblin. and a goblin. So Jin going to increase damage. 1,000, I believe. Yeah. The, the, the difficulty yeah. is, though, is that you've still got potentially play around the uh, the Meryl... Uh, sorry, the uh, uh, Madame Adele. 
uh, and the protection effect. But again, Kitty does not know that Liam is only running two. So this is more of a like just multi-element with a soiree dash. Yes. Um, so I'll we'll be reactivating and drawing one. Yeah. Now this is going to be big, but it's not insurmountable for for uh, Kitty to deal with, as we saw earlier. Big cards are not something that uh, a fire is very scared of. But again, this multi-element uh, warrior light seeing a ton of play at the moment. People calling for it to to, to be hit with a ban hammer a little bit almost. There's a Vesphere and um, yes. we're drawing two. Draw two. One of them was was that a Shinju there? I think he just uh, was the think second one. So I and don't know what I think it was an arc. Yes, an I arc. Th yeah, you might as well play the arc here. You play the arc, yeah. Because uh, it's gonna be boosting all your we, stuff. Oh, up. we're discarding. Uh, oh, no, so he drew it was two a double. Arcs. Yeah, okay. okay. So, so here we get go. an Assessor, a Leviathan, a Thorden. is getting ripped from the top, though. Assessor. Well, you just pick Assessor here, don't you? Uh, I mean, it depends on what's in your hand. Well, playing Mono Fire, you're forcing Kitty to pay an extra two as well as playing more off of the Assessor. Very true, but then again, I don't know, man. You, like, you, I suppose you could. Uh, I think he's considering taking a, a Kusith here. I don't know what's in his bin that he'd want to really get back. Is that maybe Zidane by the looks of things? Yeah. We're taking the Kusith, okay. So, so that's what it looks like. So he wants to grab back his Zidane very fair. Oh, that's a very good point from Kanara there. Uh, you can't pick the Cecil because it has to be anything other than wind, pretty much. So yeah, could not pick that. The I, I think we're gonna see, yeah, Kusith into the Zidane that's in the bin. So Zidane could start punishing Kitty now. Unless he has, he doesn't. It looks nope. like he's considering Dorgan. He's considering uh, the Dorgan. Okay, I think. I think it's still Zadam though. I, but then again, Kitty has that one suspicious active backup. Does he have the Amat? Because that's probably what he wants as well. He probably wants to see a Zadam, so that he can go. No, you ain't having it. Does he have the Zadam? Can't see it. Can't tell. It might be that top card, but we're not sure. Ooh, he's putting it back a bit. He's taking the Dorgan. No, he no, hasn't. No, 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 there we yeah. go. Uh, <laughs> he's gone with the Dorgan. This is one of those cards that, because uh, again, Liam used to really like his uh, his Earth, uh, Earth wind. wind yeah. So uh, this Dorgan was something he was really excited to see when it got uh, got spoiled. And he's now trying to trade them off because I was trying to grab one off him earlier today. No, uh, so there it is. Uh, I don't think we're on cast three, so he's only going to get the one break, but. Again, I mean, breaking the Tiber seems like a good idea to me. Yep. Is it cast three or more, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, he, oh, has he got? Has he managed to get to cast three? Yeah, because he's, yeah. he's picking both Tiber and Jin. So what? Yeah, he played the wall, played the Vestia. Yeah. So yeah. So. Yeah. Oof. An award. The problem is, is everything is bigger because of the arc. So it's not killing anything right now. No. Ouchies. A very good game by Liam currently, but Kitty's hand is absolutely humongous from what I could see. Now, the only... I'm not sure if, if Kitty's running any other board wipes. Um, like, if, if he's maybe running Susano or something like that. I have not seen a Susano. No, exactly. So, in theory, his only out to a board wipe here might be the Mimu FFB. But that might be a bit too slow against this board. Also, he's got such a big hand. Do you want to rinse most of it for Minwu? And it doesn't have haste either, so you would have to get rid of a goblin to give it haste to board wipe that turn. Yeah, the, the, this is true. And the issue as well is that we don't have five backups for, like, say, Mont to give it haste and potentially do it that way. Um, but you, you do need to deal with this board pretty quickly. Otherwise, it's going to start running amok. I mean... Right now, this just requires a Merald to win. Merald comes in, break, use a key, it has haste. Yeah, this isn't wrong. Kitty, though, going with selfie. selfie. So we're going for a potential Mont, then. Not this turn, though. And There's a Jack. Kitty needs to hold off. Now, this Jack will be free. Is it minus one for every fire character? 
that it is. Deal damage equal to its power, 9k. So you'd kill the Ark to and then Jack, get rid of the buff. Yeah, Jack will die for it, but at least everything now isn't 2k bigger. And we have seen two Ark go, so the likelihood of him playing a third is very slim. So this is not a, you know, uh, an unreasonable position for, for Kitty to take here. He's not now facing oh. lethal. Why is Ark back on field? I'm not sure. He's just, I think maybe just double checking something. Is he debating what he kills? Uh, so no. he, well, no, because Jet won't kill anything else on the board, would it, whilst Ark's up? Not yet, unless he's thinking of something else. I, I think maybe he oh, okay. something no. something else in hand that he may have been able to do. Discarding a Mont Blanc for a Terra. What do we get back here? If for it? Yeah. Yeah. That's potentially dead warrior of light right there. Potentially, I think definitely. <laughs> yeah. Now the, the question is, is do you wait until combat of Liam's turn? I think that's probably the right decision. Yeah. You want to see what comes like what comes out this turn before you go off killing things. Was that, was that a double Amat draw from, uh, from... No, that was an Ishtola. I no, think it was no, an no, Amat and Ishtola. Okay. And there yeah. is the Ishtola. No, I think I was in his hand already. I think the bottom two are what he drew. But either way, that's going to be a tough one for Kitty, Kitty to yeah. deal with. Again, though, you only got to really deal it 10k, 10K. right? But the problem is, is if it won't harm it because it will be two different things for 5k. Completely. I think you've got to take out the wall regardless, though. Yes. But does Kitty want to discard and overpay for it? That's the question. So I swing on the wall. I don't know whether... You want to just sit pretty here and wait so you're not overpaying, or whether you do overpay now. Well, I mean, Kitty is probably okay to go to three here. He, would he be going three? Inevitably, would you swing Dorgan and Vesphere as well, wouldn't you? And Stola. Be going more than three. I mean, you might as well swing out. Demon Ooh, the FFB Minwu. is is lost. Yeah. Vesphere swing, and it's a Brynhilda, but okay. it's not quite going to kill anything. No, but, but we could set up for a kill here, and potentially you... You ping the Warrior of Light. Yeah, ping the Warrior of Light, and then maybe kill it with the, yeah, the yeah, Ifrit. Ifrit. And then you get a draw anyway. You don't feel as bad for overpaying. Yeah, this is true. Uh, we're going in with the Dorgans as well, absolutely applying the pressure to Kitty. Ooh, we're taking a block. Yeah, so we're yeah. gonna try and kill two here because uh, the Brynhilda's probably gone after the wall. And then uh, the block plus the two fives plus the this, two yeah. from uh, from the terrace, so. Beautifully done. Now, However, it has put Kitty up to five damage. Yeah, absolutely. Not six like I've got on there. <laughs> Don't worry, I saw it. It's late, I want to go to bed, okay? Um, this could be a window for Kitty to get back in this game now. But he just needs to start seeing things like Tyvers. And again, I th I, I'm wondering of what sort of a different game we might be seeing had he gone for that Firion early on. Um, but Goblin, let's search for more. So I, I'm not quite sure how much this user key's done for him so far. Yeah, I mean, I suppose, I suppose it stopped like um, the wall potentially tapping for uh, 5k and, and killing something, but uh, now we we do have to be careful because these goblins are like only going to be able to target the Vesphere to be able to uh, to kill anything because there's going to be separate amounts of 3k This he stoler is going to be very tough for Kitty to overcome I think yeah and you're on damage 5 you need to find an answer and quickly it does depend what he's got in hand though so at this point even if he did have Susano Susano won't even kill he stoler Mm. Susano hits for 8, doesn't it? 
I'm not quite sure. It's been a while since I've seen that, to be fair. Yeah. It might even be nine, you know. Nine and remove, but don't quote me on it. I don't think Kitty's playing it, though, to be honest. Oh, sorry. I just realised. Oh, you mean the thing that Kinara pointed out and then I told you about and then you completely ignored us both? As you said, it is that time of day and I need to be in bed. Yeah. I have a two-hour drive after this oh, as well to get so home. do I. All right. You've got a nicer home to go back no, to. No, I bloody don't. <laughs> Absolutely bloody don't. I live in a rat-infested crap hole. Anyway, we're going in with Citra. Citra going to surge now. What do we cast, though? Is there anything that can just straight up deal deal with the Estola? And I think we're going to see the uh, the Amat from from Liam, but I think it needs to be done. There we go. Yeah. Could could he have not waited and removed the five from break zone first? Like surely it's a double win on Citra, right? Let's have a look, see. So, when he enters, if they're all removed. No, it's not a double win, so yeah, you had to do it then. Very good play. Yeah, because ha had it been remove five, when you do so, go play a summon, then you could, uh, you know, hit the second win, but. Just... 10 minutes on round. Is Kitty removed for the Citra? No, um, he got amatted. If ah. you if you let it remove, it, you just get the effect. Right, okay. This is not the double. So one. you do it beforehand. Yeah. yeah. So Citra going down. Liam likely has stemmed any sort of comeback for now. Problem being is you've only got two three k goblins. It's a very strange board state because it almost feels like a stalemate right now. I mean, Kitty can't do much against the Stola, but then at the same time, he's set up perfectly with all the goblins on board and the backups. It's not, though. The, the Only two of those goblins are ones that deal damage, and A, those wouldn't deal with the, uh, the Stola. And if we see a Meryl, uh, sorry, a Madame Adele next turn, then that Vestry is protected. You've only got one blocker. Yeah. I think Kitty is on the back foot, and he needs an answer now. Or he needs to act Ooh. and take out this this Vesphere. At least that way you've only you're only facing one attacker next turn. You can then go to damage six, try and recoup and play out the next turn. So pop in the selfie. Yeah, give pop in the just goblin. So we can draw. Is there an answer there? I don't think he got one. No. I'm not sure why he'd be digging for, though, to be honest. I'm at Sunday. What do we get? Takes a point of damage by the sounds of it. Yep. Yeah, and finish off the rest of you. That is a very roundabout way to do things. I'm surprised he just didn't play a Zack. The problem is this puts you to damage six and the Estola can't be blocked. It just swings for game next turn, doesn't it? Uh, the Estola can be blocked. Only by... Oh, it's uh, four or less, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the Azuki can block it, but if you've got something that can kill that, like a Merald, like that, top deck, like a Sentry of a pro, Liam likely to win it now. There is no, there is no tomorrow. You just play the Merald, attack and win. We're debating it though. I mean, is is he potentially just thinking? Play it safe. Yeah. Do I go off of the amber? Uh, God, the Madame Adele. <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Mm. Uh, uh. No, we're just gonna. We're just going yeah, to do it. Yeah. Do it that way. Breaking the user key. Kitty just nodding his head. He's got no response to that. He's got one in hand, and we know it's the Ifrit. Oh, but he oh he does have the Ifrit actually. Oh, what are we what are we got there? What did what was it that we did? What is that backup? Can you see what that backup is? Is it the Zande? No, 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 no. Uh, this one. Is that Carla? I feel like that's Carla. Yeah, yeah, is it? 
No. Say tuna? Oh, it might be. I think it's that first this one. This one. Yeah. Uh, put three backers on the brakes on twos, two forwards, deal them ten. Kitty with an answer wow. on board, and we didn't even know it. Wow, okay. Now the, the problem is though, he's, draw, he's got the Madame Medell in hand, and he's just drawn another one. Haste is on. Problem is, though, is we're still on the back foot here, the even with that. The thing is, Liam did kind of make a mistake last year, and had he had just played it off of the Madame Adele into the Merald, we would have been fine. Now, Kitty holding on, because he's going to am at that as well. Oh, but we've got another <laughs> one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, nope, that is it. That is really game. well played by Liam there. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that that was a shocker. Well, guys, try let, try again. Yeah, um, we're probably not going to do a, a thing, so we're just going to go to commentary cam, guys. That was some really well played games. Very well played. Really cool to see some on the fire hitting the uh, hitting the tables. Kitty piloting that well. Sadly, just uh, had to scramble against the Swari there yeah. at the end. But to be honest, there's been a great amount of games today. Yeah, exactly that. But that being said, guys, thank you very much, as always, for joining us. We will potentially be back next week. I'm Fish. This is Taylor. Again, check us out on YouTube, Next Dimension uh, Hobby, uh, as well as all of our socials and Discord via comicactiles.com. Anything else from you, Taylor? I think that is it. I need to go home and get to bed, and I yeah. think you do too. Yeah, we have some drives ahead of us. So, guys, thank you very much. We will catch you next week. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>